Hello and welcome to the Ciudad Esportiva Juan Gamper in San Juan de Spi in Barcelona. It's match day 10 in the, the U19B League in this game between FC Barcelona and Mercantil. FC Barcelona right now in seventh spot in the standings, 16 points. Here we have the starting lineup for Barca today with Diego Cochen, Jan Culumé, Pau Cubarsi, Alexis Olmedo, Nico Tahasashi, Pau Prim, Nil Caldaro. Adrián Simón, Hugo Alba, Cristóbal Muñoz en Arnau Pradas, y de Ben Hector Ford, Aarón, Albert Navarro, Wesley Dual, Manuel Vila, Xavi Moreno en Marc Guy. For Mercantil today, Jordi Cereza, eh, Michael, Pau Buendía, Lucas Federico, Biner, Alex Munuera, Marc Aguilar, Miguel Expósito, Hugo Santana, Gerard Torres, Marcos Ibáñez en Álvar Silva, y de Ben Carlos Serrano, David Frank, Jan Rodríguez, Cristian Vilar, Frank Borrego, Farra Martín en Mamadi Diallo. Let's see, because everything seems to be ready at the Ciudad Esportiva Juan Gamper in this clash. And there we go with uh, Mercantil kicking off playing right to left. And as we uh, were saying, Bas are in seventh spot in the standings with 16 points, uh, nine games played, four wins, four draws, one defeat. If they win, they can reach up to the second spot. Uh, just two points below top league leaders, Cornellà with 21. So everything is really, really tight in this uh, U19B league. And Mercantil are in fourth spot. So, well, these two teams are battling actually today to know which one can be uh, second in the standings. And Mercantil are the only team from the league that hasn't uh, lost any single game yet four wins five draws fourth spot 17 points so far so we are expecting of course a beautiful and a really tight and equal match first position now for uh, mercantil Barca clearing that ball cristobal muñoz fighting for that one and mercantil recovering quickly this ball this game uh, with some absences for Barca, with uh, some under-19 players that are with their national sides. Great ball now recovered by Jean Colomé, finding Nin Calaro, opening to the left for Nico. Alexis and Paco Barce, who made his debut in Pilsen in the youth league this year. The player from... Uh, the U16 team actually, and confirming his spot in this U19 B team. Pau Kubarsi, of course, one of the players to have an eye on. Problems there for Cristobal Muñoz. Mercantil recovering that one. Let's see now the header from Kubarsi. Problems there for Barca. The options for Gerard Torres and for Mercantil. Torres opening the ball to the left. Pau and starting again from uh, the back. Alex in the combination with Lucas Federico Wiener. Good defending action for Passa. Marco Giovanez trying to find some support. And Nico getting back that one in the combination with Pau Prim. Again, Takahashi combining with Alexis Olmedo and Pau Cubarsi. Let's see if Passa can find a little bit more of control. This team managed by Ivan Cuadrado Alonso. All mercantile players defending in their half. Pau Cubarsi finding Alexis. Alexis with Cristóbal Muñoz. Who goes down? Foul in favor for Barca. Playing quickly that one. And switching the ball to the right. Jan Kurume. Kurume back to Paco Barsi. Paco Barsi. Finding a great pass. Let's see the opportunity for Barca. Inside the box. And dispossessed in the end. Arnau Pradas. What a chance. Brilliant pass from Kubarsi. 
And the chance here for Barca, the best one so far in this clash. Ball goes out, throw in for FC Barcelona. Jan Kulume, four minutes in the clock. Fantastic chance, the one that has enjoyed FC Barcelona. Kulume. Back to Alexis Olmedo. Nico. Good combination with Pradas. Back to Alexis. Kubarsi, what a pass. The one he has uh, find uh, minutes ago. Adrian Simon, back to Alexis. Nico, great dribbling. Nico driving forward. Let's see the opportunity here. Ball for Adrian Simon. The shot over the top. Good reaction now for FC Barcelona. Cooking now for Jordi Cereza for Mercantil. He's going to play long. After this high pressure from FC Barcelona. Cereza playing long to the left. And Barcelona winning back this ball. Olmedo, Diego Cochen. Cochen, not nervous at all. Good pass there to Nico. Paprim, driving forward. The holding midfielder combining with Adrian Simon. Simon wants to find inside the box. Neil Caldaro, good run, good pass. And a good reaction from Jordi Cereza for Mercantil. Lucas. Michael. Great defensive action once again for FC Barcelona. Recovering quickly this ball. Kubarsi. Kulume. Picking up Pau Kubarsi. Let's see Kubarsi if he can try another good pass. Brilliant one to Adrian Simon. Simon in the combination with Nick Aldaro. Back to Jean Kulume. Olmedo. Paco Barsi, once again. Olmedo, one touch there from Cristobal Muñoz. Let's see this long ball. The rebound here. And the reaction and the opportunity for Cristobal Muñoz. Seven minutes in the clock. Another chance here for Barça, another one for Cristobal Muñoz. Good impact in the semi volley. Has been uh, successfully saved there by Jordi Cereza. Long ball played now by Michael. Good header from Kubarsi in this defensive action. Cristobal Muñoz back to Nico. Recovering another ball, really active. Cristobal Muñoz in this first seven minutes and a half. Paco Barsi. Olmedo, back to Kubarsi. Pau Prim finding Arnau Pradas. Pradas, back to Nico. Nico moving the ball now to the right here with Olmedo and Kubarsi. Jan Kulume has space now to run. Let's see. Kulume in the final third. Kulume with his left finds a shot. And again, Jordi Cereza with another good save. Passa little by little, controlling and dominating this game. Good shot there with his left foot for Jan Kulume. Jordi Cereza will play. A long ball. The touch from 
Hugo Santana goes directly to the hands of Diego Cochen. And Basta starts again playing from the back. Prim. Cobar, sí. Back to Jean Colomé. Moving the ball to Alexis Olmedo. Let's see. Hugo Alba, one of the first touches for him, has been dispossessed. Good control here for uh, Nico to recover that one. And again, pass arriving without problems at all to the middle of the park. And Mercantil waiting in their own half before starting this pressure. Olmedo. Great pass to Jean Coulomé. Coulomé back to Kubarsi. Combining and receiving the support from Pau Prim, Alexis. The touch again from Ualba and successfully. Ten minutes in the clock in this first half. No goals yet. At the Ciudad Esportiva, Joan Gamper. Good header. The ball now for Miguel Exposito. Combining with uh, Santana. Michael. Problems for him. Playing for Lucas. Back to Michael. Michael finding back. Some support. Teresa. Playing long. No problems for Baza. For Pau Prim to control that one. Let's see now Muñoz. Cristóbal Muñoz opening the ball to Arnaud Pradas. Pradas back. To Muñoz in ball around the box in the penalty spot. Let's see now a from the back. Jan Kulume, Jan Kulume with the right to the foul post. Let's see if can find some wonder. Ball again around the box. And another control, another recovery for Barca. Kulume playing back to Kubarsi. Kubarsi to Alexis. And Barca enjoying now some good opportunities. Nico. Losing now this ball after missing the pass. Lucas, calma, por favor. High rhythm, eh? many intensity and long possessions, no interruptions, active football game so far, and we are enjoying it a lot. On Basta TV Plus, as always, all the best content, the best live programs, and the best live action like uh, the academy in La Masia youth uh, teams games like this one today the U19 B fighting to arrive to the second spot in the standings of this uh, U19 uh, B league Pau Prim now with a chance another save there by Jordi Cereza facing the unbeaten Mercantil after nine weeks no team has been able to win Mercantil that also wants to and match day 10 in second spot. A player down, let's see now, header, Alexis, Nico, supporting here the side. Problems now for Barca, let's see the opportunity for Mercantil, ball in the edge of the box. Nico needs to be solid here, receives a foul. Barca playing from the back. A lot of tension there in the sideline and in the benches. Barca uh, staff understanding that the American Tingal wasting many, many time from his goalkeeper. Let's see now, another reaction for Barca here, and it's Calderó driving forward. Loses this ball, Mercantil in the counter-attack now, running from the back. Miguel Exposito, defended there by Nico. Exposito keeps the ball, Exposito tries to find some support, but Arnau Pradas are arriving and helping also the side in the defense right now. Alexis picking up Paco Barsi, Jan Kulume. Kubarsi. Alexis. Waiting some meters. Alexis, let's see if he can find a good option. Alexis continues driving forward, finds uh, Hugo Alba. 
Oh, Alba switching the ball to the right. Great ball here to Neil Calderó. Barça's captain with a cross now again to the far post. Let's see the rebound. Cleared away by Mercantil. Now trying to run in the counter attack. But Pau Covarsi arriving to block this ball and trying to find out now Pradas who cannot arrive. Throw in for Mercantil. Throw in for the visitor team. Problems there with this throw in. Cristóbal Muñoz with a header. Now the long ball played by Mercantil. Pasa trying to control it uh, again. But in the end, are the visitors the ones with this opportunity? Gerardo Añez back to Pauwendia now. Alex Munera picking up Lucas. Ball now in midfield. Aguilar switching to the right. Good control for Miguel Exposito. Exposito back to Ibáñez. Ibáñez playing back to Lucas. Again, another good combination with Exposito. Lucas trying to find Exposito again. Let's see the cross. Cleared away by Barca. Now it's Munoz trying to run for Barca. Prim. There's a foul on him. Was trying to convince the referee to show a yellow card, but hasn't been enough. Alexis picking up Jan Kulume. One touch football from Maya uh, Simon. Kubarsi back to Alexis. Alexis Kubarsi. Kubarsi. Finding the support of uh, Hugo Alba. Plays back to Alexis. Cristobal back to Alexis now. Mercantil trying to press high up front. Diego Cochen. Pau. Pau back to Cochen. Fantastic way of pass a play from the back. Incredible touch from Jan here to Adrian Simon. Now winning meters, driving forward, finding Cristobal Muñoz, opening the ball to Arnau Pradas in the left. Arnau Pradas. Back to Nico. Nico finding Pau Prim. They've lost now the opportunity after beating that pressure line. But are, of course, in Mercantile's side, trying to create any opportunity now. Kubarsi. Jan Kulume back to Pau Kubarsi. Kubarsi, another touch with Alexis. Back to Kubarsi. The combination with Cristóbal Muñoz. Let's see the chance for Barca now. Fantastic combination here between uh, Adrián Simón and Hugo Alba, who goes down. There is no foul, according to the referee. Now Alex is coming from the back to support the rest of the teammates. And the throw in for Mercantil. But Hugo Alba is down. Now the referee allowing the doctors to come on. Here we have the replay again. Oof, the talent here on Hugo Alba. First interruption now of the match. And Uwalba who needs to go out before coming on again. Mercantil taking this throw in, let's see. We'll have to re retake it now, yes. 
And oh, Alba is back on the field. 11 against 11 uh, again. Mercantile now with possession. Alvar. Great combination now. Alvar Silva again switching uh, to the right. Exposito leaving that ball pass really well across. It was a great move there from Mercantile. Good combination now. Barca playing from the own half. The header from uh, Lucas to clear that one. Michael in that combination with Marcos Ibáñez. There is no foul. There is a throw in in favor for Mercantil. We are approaching to the 20th minutes of this class. No goals yet. At this pitch number seven of the Isidro de Sportiva. Juan Gamper. Cross to the Fapos, no problems at all for Diego Cochen. Passes goalkeeper that plays shortly with Alexis. Nico. Back to Alexis. Mercantil now moving back their lines to defend once again in their own half. Alexis. Paco Barsi. Long ball trying to make the same move that almost was ba first pass as goal in that combination between Pau and Cristobal. Tereza, Mercantil's goalkeeper, is going to play a long ball. <laughs> Last one touching that ball was a Barca player. And another throw in for Mercantil. All square after the first 21 minutes in Barcelona. Mark combining with uh, Pau Buendía. Good dribbling from Buendía, finding again the support of Marc Aguilar. Lucas, problems now for him. Finds a good ball in the end for Marcos Ibáñez, who hasn't been able to control it well. The action continues. There's no foul. Pradas supporting and now passes defense. Paco Barsi. One touch to Jean Coulomé. Coulomé in the combination with Caldaro. Back to Jean Coulomé. Let's see if he can find a good pass. In the end, has been dispossessed. Gerard. Great recovery there by Adrian Simon. And another great recover by Mercantil. Fantastic effort. Mark. Combining now with Jordi Cereza, goalkeeper, playing a long ball, opening to the right to Michael. Michael does it well, finding some support. Playing a really serious game, Mercantil, and showing why no one has been able to beat them in these first nine league games. Problems now for Paco Barsi, the bounce, the combination, but flag was raised offside. Paco Barsi in the combination with uh, Ualba. Paco Barsi back to Alexis. Alexis Ualba, the number nine, supporting also the midfielders and defenders. Difficult to create with so many players from Mercantil at the back right now for Barca. Coulomé 
back to Kubarsi. Alexis. Winning some meters. Finding Hugo Alba once again. Dispossessed. And now running in the counter attack, Mercantil. Great skills from Marcos Ibáñez. Marcos Ibáñez has uh, been uh, fouled. And Mercantil will try to take a long set piece. They're gonna cross the ball. They're gonna try here to. Final opportunity. Many players in the far post. The cross goes there. The header. And now the second cross from Alex Munera. Ball went out. And now a goal kick for Barca. And Diego Cochen. Long ball. No problems for Mercantil to clear that one away. Torres. Good combination. Buen día. Passa now recovered that ball. Blocking that one. Mercantil. Adrián Simón, Pau Prim, Nico. In the combination, ball again for Pau Prim. Let's see this control from uh, Jean Coulomé. So that in these last minutes, probably has lost this uh, extra point of points that we're enjoying in between the 10th and 20th minutes. Let's see if they can recover again. The fact to create opportunities, although, again, it's complicated when you face a solid team in defense like Mercantil. Paco Barsi, the combination with Cristobal. Cristobal finding Callaro, touching the ball back to Kulume. Paco Barsi. Alexis Olmedo driving forward. Alexis, let's see, in the final third again. The shot over the top. Let's see if yet the players try to uh, shoot on target because the intention was a good one, but ball went over the top. High pressure from Barca. Mercantil are going to try to play from the back. A Barca player, Hugo Alba, entered to the box before the goalkeeper touched that ball. That's why they are playing again. Problems for Mercantil to play from the back after a fantastic high pressure from Barca. That are gonna recover now this ball. Nico in the combination with Cristobal. Cristobal driving forward. Let's see if Barca can create problems here. Cristobal now with more space with not many defenders. Mercantil has in other moves during this first half. Jordi Coulomé opening the ball to Neil Caldero. Try it from here, Neil. Let's see. Caldero in the combination with Adrián Simón. Pau Prim finding a fantastic ball to Cristobal inside the box. Cristobal turning, trying to find a shot. A humble, no, the action continues. Caldero and the goal for Barça. Neil Caldero. Di Blaugranas is scoring the opening goal after suffering a lot in this first 28 minutes of the first half. 
Neil Caldero, brilliant finish, brilliant execution, fantastic move from the Blaugranas. Uh, starting with a high pressure when Mercantil uh, started playing uh, from the back. Recovering that one and executing perfectly well this counter-attack. Caldero scores the opening goal. Here we have the replay again. And Barca taking the lead. Uh, celebrations. And time to continue as Ivan Cuadrado is saying from the sideline. One nil up for the Blauranas. Nir Caldero in the 29th minute of this clash from Matsday 9 in the U19B League. This, of course, uh, virtually places Barca in second spot of the competition. Just two points below Cornella right now. Brilliant news for Barca. This opening goal in the first half. Time now to continue creating and, of course, trying to score more goals. Let's see if Mercantil continues with the, the defensive plan that they were facing. Positive aspects, of course, Passa are not uh, considering too many chances. They are also having difficulties to enjoy them, that's true, but... Um, well, it will be interesting now to see how uh, everything uh, evolves after the first 30 minutes uh, played right now. Final 15 minutes of this first half. There's no foul here. Gerard. Back to Michael. Arnau Prada supporting Passa uh, in defense now. Pau Prim goes down to the tackle. Nico tries to clear it, but hasn't been able to uh, save that uh, corner kick against. That is actually what Mercantil are going to enjoy. A set piece and a corner kick. Careful. Now everyone with the marks. Man on everyone. Let's see the cross to the near post. Well, cleared away for FC Barcelona. And careful here in the run. Really fast, Nick Caldero. Mercantil playing a long one. And now are the Blauranas, the ones controlling a new position. Adrian Simon running and finding uh, Arnau Pradas in the right now. Pradas with his left. Playing back to Jean Coulomé. Pau Coarsi. Everything in his position again. And Mercantil with all the squad at the back. So it doesn't seem that the plan has changed. Although considering this uh, opening goal, Paco Barce, Alexis, combining with Cristobal, back to Alexis, Paco Barce, little by little, winning some meters, FC Barcelona, let's see Cristobal, finding Coulomé, Coulomé and Adrian Simón, one touch for Cristobal, Cristobal finding Arnau Pradas, let's see, again the ball now in the final third, Nico, Pau Prim, Cristobal opening the ball to Pradas, the cross goes a little bit long, but Neil is there to take the ball, good dribbling, let's see, the opportunity, and the foul now whistled against Mercantil. Skills here from Arnaud Pradas that switches his uh, is with uh, Neil Caldero for that previous move after the corner kick. We expect them now to recover each one his uh, position. Well, two Barca players in uh, this set piece, two players from Mercantil in the wall, and the chance and the opportunity for Barca. Let's see. Right hands up from uh, Pau Prim. They cross to the penalty spot. Careful with the rebound. What a chance for Barca. Finding absolutely alone. Jan Kulume. After the cross from Pau Prim. What a chance for FC Barcelona. Apart from the goal, the best one that they've enjoyed in this first half. Recovering quickly this ball now, Di Blauranas. Wow, wow, this is a hard tackle and 
The first yellow card of the game has been shown now to Gerard Torres. Parera. Clear yellow card. Arriving late to that direction. Here we see the replay again of this uh, opportunity for uh, Calaro, captain. What a chance. And uh, Gerard Torres that has seen the first yellow card of this match. Paco Barsi, Passa playing again. And starting a new move, Kulome. Adrian Simon. Back to Alexis. Alexis driving forward. Let's see, finding Hector, who goes down after protecting that ball. Another yellow card that Mercantilo are going to see right now. Because Hugo Alba turned really well and was going to enter to the box. Here we see the movement again. And Lucas, the one who has been booked right now. And careful, of course, because this is another interesting option for Barca. To try and score from a set piece. It would be important, of course, to increase the gap. Because right now, there is just one goal of advantage. So, let's see. If the team can... A score from this uh, direct free kick. The free kick goes over the top. Not a good execution here from the same uh, Hugo Alba who received that foul. Ten minutes remaining in this first half. Bossa one. Nick Caldero and Scott. The opening goal, Mercantil Nil. Great pressure from Barca. Mercantil will take another goal kick. Alex Munera finding Lucas Michael in the right. Great pressure once again from Barca. Nico trying to play from there. In the end, this ball is for Alexis. Plays back to the Ocochen. Cochen picking up Jan Kulume, waiting really well to the ball and now using uh, his power to uh, dribble and go up front. Driving forward, Cristobal was trying to find Hugo Alba. Mercantil recovered that one, and now they will enjoy a throw in. Let's see, Michael. Ready to take this throw in. Long one. And great ball recovered here by Barça. Foul now in favor for Mercantil. And it can be a good opportunity for the visitor team. A throw in in the end, yep, has been uh, overruled that decision. It's going to be a throw in for Mercantil. Ball in a dangerous position, and now, yes, they will enjoy this corner kick. Second one for Mercantil in this clash. Hugo Santana ready to take this corner kick. Marc Salabarde, the manager from Mercantil, asking for more calm in these throw-ins. Let's see the rebound, the semi-volley, the ball in the edge of the box. Barca needs to clear this ball, and now they do it. Now they do it, and careful here with Mercantil, just one defender. Pau and Dia, really well here with the pass. Careful with another long ball for Barca, no problems at all for Jordi Cereza. Gracias, Aguilar. 
Lucas, problems there for Mercantil. Cristobal recovering that ball. Bassa pressing well. Mercantil also brave to try to play from the back, but at the same time suffering in some actions. Good header from uh, Kubarsi. And now fantastic defensive action there by Adrian Simon. Really good action. Using well his body. Gian Colome finding Alexis. Pau Kubarsi. Back to Alexis. Alexis picking up Kubarsi. Gerard Torres pressing high up front. Kubarsi winning some meters. Going now to the forward line. Now Marco Ibáñez recovering that ball. Fantastic tackle from Nico to clear this one. Another throw in for Mercantil. Michael. In the combination. Monera switching to the left for Buendía. Back to Munera. Munera finding Alvar Silva. Has lost possession. So in uh, for Barca, we have entered in the last five minutes of the first half. Adrian Simon, good defensive action now from Alvar Silva. Recovering that one. Also, Jean Colomé using well here. His right foot to recover that ball. Problems again for Mercantil. Good movement now. And a good way to play from the back. Alvar Silva. Again, Silva. Finds Pau and Dia. Aguilar. Foul. Of Simon. Bruno was having a word with the referee. Can be one of the last ones for Mercantil in this first half. Gerard Torres is going to try to cross this one. Again, many, many players in the far post. Let's see this cross. Good intention. The ball around the box. Ball hits the chest. Nothing there. As the referee was in front of the move. And as we also saw in our live images. Now Hugo trying to control that one. Has been dispossessed. Mercantil taking this throw in. Silva. Silva driving forward. Well defended now by Kulome. Goal kick for Barca. Three minutes remaining. Diego Cochen is going to take this throw in. Call it now. Cochin taking his time. Diego will play a long ball. Trying to find <laughs> Caldero. Pau Prim, he's alone. Calming now a little bit. This move. Jan Kurume. Alexis and Pau Kubarsi. Pau Kubarsi picking up Alexis. Alexis finding Pau Kubarsi. Kubarsi, great ball. Fantastic touch. Not accurate at all. Trying to find Jan. That now plays a header to Diego Gotten. Two minutes before arriving to the 45th minute. And maximum. Uh, there's going to be one minute of stop at Stein maximum for that uh, small physical problems for Walba in uh, yeah, the 25th minute, more or less. Has been the only interruption of the game. So maximum one minute. Let's see now the counter-attack for Barca. 
Oh, Alba in the left. Many players entering to the box. Let's see who go with a cross, finding Cristobal. And the second goal for Barca arrives just 90 seconds before halftime. Great cross, great finish, and a fantastic advantage to go to the halftime. Cristobal finishing really well. A fantastic transition from FC Barcelona. Brilliant news for Di Blaulanas to score this second goal just before halftime. Hugo Alba. So Cristobal really well. Caldero was also in the far post. There were many Barca players entering to the box. Also Adrian Simon. And Cristobal has in the one with that touch. Finishing this move. And the frustration for Mercantil because, yes, they played. And they did a good first half, but not enough to go at halftime with a good result. It's always tough, of course, to play at this Ciudad Esportiva. Now the challenge here between Michael and Nico, who understands there was a foul on him. Let's see, can be one of the last ones here. The throw in, Michael, Paul goes to the near post. Cleared away by Barca, another cross from Michael. Uh, trying to find a header, Miguel Exposito is Nico clearing that one. Again, ball up in the air, the header from Kubarsi. Important to defend well this final action in the stoppage time. Seems that the referee has... Uh, Added a minute as we were expecting for that uh, interruption in the game after the physical problems that suffered. Hugo Alba. Michael is gonna be last one. Cross from Michael to the penalty spot. Up in the air, Gerard Torres. The ball uh, arrives to Alvar Silva in the left. Silva defended by Jan. The cross from Silva. No problems at all for. Diego Gotten in the first half. We land here. The final whistle. And Di Laurana is going to halftime with 2 0 up. A difficult game, a tough side mercantile, but a positive result for Barca that have uh, been really patient to find the goals. Uh, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back to bring you the second half. Halftime at this Lotes Sportivo Juan Gamper Barca 2. Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Ciudad Esportiva. Juan Gamper, halftime score, Barça 2, Mercantil, Nil, Di Blauranas, that are leading in this game after the opening goal is scored by Nil Caldero. And a late goal, just 90 seconds before halftime, scored by Cristóbal Muñoz. Mercantil that have uh, faced a really defensive uh, way of planning the match. Passa have suffered a little bit, but in the end they have been able to uh, take a good advantage after the first 45 minutes. Now we start seeing uh, some of the players coming onto the field, also the referees and the assistants. And we are about to start seeing this second half, this kickoff. Barcelona, that of course, with this uh, victory, can reach to the second spot of the table. And stays just two points below Kurneya. Important uh, clash, of course, the one that every single game in the league, of course, is really important. Let's see the highlights of this uh, first half. And here we have. The opening goal, Neil coming from the back end 
finishing in a successful way. Good pass from Pau Prim. Then Cristobal was the one trying to finish from there, but has arrived the magic from Neil Caldaro to score the opening goal. And here we have the second goal. Great combination between Cristobal, Hugo, again the cross to Cristobal, and finishing to find the back of the net. The two goals the pass has scored in these first 45 minutes. The celebration. Here between all players. And now the instructions before kicking off the second half from the staff. Pass our players. Activating themselves before yeah, kicking off the second half. We are still waiting for the players of uh, Mercantil. More than 15 minutes of half time right now. So, well, the visitor side arriving late to this pitch number seven of the city of the Sportivo Jean Gamper. Let's see if they start arriving. So this game can be resumed. Good performance for Diego Cochin so far. Goalkeeper, not many jobs to, for him to do. As Mercantil hasn't arrived at all. Just a couple of uh, set pieces. Also solid pair of centre-backs, Pau Cubarsi and Alexis Olmedo. Good job also from Nico and uh, Jan, two full-backs. And for midfielders, Pau. Adrián Simón and, of course, Cristóbal Muñoz. And the three up front also having protagonism in the, the different moves and the goals. Well, the conversation there between uh, the manager Iván Cuadrado and Cristóbal. The referee is also there and the ones that are missing are the players from Mercantil. No sign to see the away team. Now, yes. Seems that Barca's delegate has gone there to advise them that they were late. And now they come on to, to the field. So we are now, yes, uh, minutes away from kicking off in the second half. No changes apparently for FC Barcelona. And Merkel thing has one change prepared. There we see Manuel Villa Cabezas ready to uh, come on. There we go, the substitution. And Manuel Villa Cabezas coming on for Mercantil. Everything ready at the Ciudad Desportiva for this second half. And there we go with Barca kicking off, playing uh, right to left in the last 45 minutes. Tony Lap, Neil Calderon in the 29th minute, and Cristobal, the two uh, scorers so far. And the script that seems to be the same one as in the first far half with Mercantil defending at their back and trying to press just when Barca tries to find they have good start for Barca in this second half. Arnau Pradas, the combination with Cristobal. Arnau Pradas inside the box. Pradas trying to control that one against two defenders. 
Great job from Nico, supporting Pradas and recovering this ball. Pauprim combining again with Nico. Alexis picking up Paco Barce. Alexis again, great touch from uh, Pau Prim. Back to Pau. Opening now the ball to Nil Caldaro. Simon turning, protecting all the ball. Finding now Pau Prim. Switching to the left. Great pass here from uh, Nico to Arnau Pradas. The cross inside the box. The chance for Cristobal Muñoz. Goes out. Great start for Barca in the second half. Jordi Cereza is going to take this goal kick shortly. Assuming risks, Mercantil playing from the back. Long ball. Passa now trying to recover this position. And now they do it. Adrian Simon protecting well this ball. And switching now to the left. Alexis winning meters. The pass for Alba. Blocked by Mercantil trying to run. And again, another fantastic defense by Nico. Fantastic defensive action. Let's see. Referee having a word here with some of the players there. And now giving instruction to continue playing. Michael taking this throw in. Finding back the support of Aguilar, and now it's Tereza, goalkeeper, playing a long ball. Great header by Kubarsi. Pradas fighting to recover this ball, FC Barcelona. The chance now for Mercantil, Marcos Ibáñez. The run from Michael, but a fantastic also run and effort from Arnau Pradas once again in defensive tasks. Pau. Olmedo. Back to Paco Barce. Olmedo. Pau again. Alexis Olmedo in the combination. Pau Prim. Combining and now between the uh, Barca players. Good ball for Adrian Simon. Simon in the combination, ball in the edge of the box. Let's see. Simon with his left. Ball now goes for Arnau Prada, trying to finish. Well defended now by Mercantil. Tries to run, but Nico again. Once again, recovering another ball, dribbling and finding a fantastic foul. What an effort and what a game by Nico. Takahashi. Cristobal taking this free kick. Pau Kubarsi to Pau Prim. Alexis back to Pau Kubarsi. And the triangle is going to be completed again. No, Pau Kubarsi this time switches back to Olmedo. Great movement now from Pau Prim. Let's see. Pau Prim opening the ball to the left for Arnau Pradas. Pradas back to Prim. Nico, one touch back from Cristobal to Alexis. The dribbling and the team now dispossessed. Five minutes in the clock in the second half. Mercantil trying to play from the back. Marcos Ibáñez trying to find a pass, no problems at all for Diego Cochen. 
Dani. Dos toques. Mira, sí. En medio, Cristo, vas en medio. Dani, mira, dale. Throwing for Gibla Branas. The opportunity now for Barca Calderón inside the box. Calderón over the top. Another opportunity for FC Barcelona. Again, the ball for Diego Cochen in that long pass from Mercantil. Careful. A Pradas. A foul now in midfield. Cristóbal. Caldaro missing now this pass. Pau Prima arriving from the back to try and recover that one. Now Armec until the ones running. Michael in the right, finding Marcos Ibáñez. The combination with Frank Borrego and the throw in for the visitor team. Barca players warming up, Mercantil players warming up. And shortly, we will see some changes in this clash. Michael Ibáñez in that corner can find a cross that goes directly to the hands of the Diego Cochen. Paco Barsi. Olmedo, Alexis, back to Covarse. Now Mercantil pressing a little bit more uh, up front. <coughs> but Passa, of course, with the, the clock in favor and taking the time to play from the back. Cristobal supporting now the team. The high pressure from Mercantil. That works. Al Silva. Alvar Silva finding Ibáñez in the right. Ibáñez tries to dribble Nico. Ball inside the box, but Nico has defended really well again. Well, Paul stayed on the field, although it seemed that uh, went out. Now Barca running in the counter attack. Cristobal, Cristobal finding a long pass to Nick Caldero in the left. Now Nick Caldero, well defended by Michael. Borrego. Good combination with Aguilar, back to Borrego. Borrego, great, great, great transition now for Mercantil. Miguel with Borrego, Borrego finding uh, now in the left, Munera. Plays back to Buendia. Ten minutes in the clock in this second half, pass to Mercantil. Nil long ball to the far post offside. Goal is disallowed. Marcos Ibanez was offside. Flag was raised. And Mercantil well, close to score the opening goal and the first one. But the action has been disallowed. Not many players have complained. So probably a clear position 
of offsides. Passa now playing from the back. Great ball here to Nico. Nico finding an opening. Uh, the ball to the left for Caldero. Caldero back to Nico. Nico can find a cross. In the end, decides to play for Cristobal. Adrian Simon. Pau Prim back to Simon. Simon with space, winning some meters. Can test here. Mercantil's goalkeeper. Simon continues inside the box. Finding now Arnau Pradas. Pradas with a shot. Blocked and saved by Jordi Cereza. Good opportunity for Pass. A good reaction after Mercantil's disallowed goal. Once again, Nico clearing this ball. Michael. Taking his time. And now playing back to Munera. Finding Cereza. Problems for Cereza has to clear that ball. Let's see the header. Problems there for Pau Cubarsi. The one to one now for Mercantil. And what a chance that Zarar Torres has missed. What a chance in what seemed to be a mistake from Cereza that was in a trouble. Cleared that ball, the bounce and the action. Uh, and it's in favor for Mercantil. The problems there for Pau Cubarsi to defend and the opportunity for Gerard Torres in the one-to-one -one against uh, Diego Cochen. He missed the opportunity, ball went out. And, uh, well, the visitor team enjoying now for sure the best moment of this match with the goal that has been disallowed and with the best opportunity in this one-to-one. -one. Let's see, because Barca now are suffering a little bit and can and be the moment to introduce some substitutions for the Banco de la Alonso. There are three players warming up for Barca. Michael taking now this throw in. The cross from Borrego. Adrián Simón opening now that one to Pradas. They've switched uh, positions with Caldero, right and left. Diego playing a long ball. Caldero with the control. Let's see what he can do. Who was trying to find a pass. Adrian Simon. Jan. Kulume back to Simon. And Pau Prim. Cristobal. Pau Prim again. Yes, Bassa needs to find a little bit of calm. And play with the, the result in favor, of course. Adrián, finding Pradas, good ball to Pau Prim, finding Cristobal, let's find a shot from there, Cristobal, why not? Cristobal decides to combine with Pau Prim again, Prim with Alba, Alba here in the combination with uh, Cristobal, and Alex Munera defending well and clearing now that one. No problems at all for Paco Barça this time. Getting back that one and winning this ball. Problems for Nico now. They haven't understood it well with uh, Adrian Simon and Mercantil. He takes advantage. They run. Ibáñez inside the box goes down. Nothing there for the referee. Again goes down. The ball and the cross from Mikel Exposito. Michael Mercantil in their best moment trying to find a goal. Michael the cross goes out. Oof, Barca suffering now. Absolutely. And Mercantil are enjoying a fantastic moment of this game. Great run now for FC Barcelona Pradas in the right. Well, has been fouled, and this should be at least a yellow card, stopping him in that way. Yeah. 
Pradas again, trying to surprise from the right. Cristóbal back to Cubarsi. Alexis. Thirty minutes remaining in this crucial game, match the ten of the U19 B League. Barça wants to reach the second spot in the standings. Another foul against Mercantil. And Di Blaranas will play from midfield. Cristobal. Oof, hard tackle there with uh, Michael. The action continues. Michael has recovered well after hitting that impact in his head with uh, Cristobal. Let's see the opportunity now for Silva opening the ball to the left. Another chance for Mercantil inside the box. The cross deflected. And the corner kick for the yellow side. Gerard Torres ready to take it. Now Mercantil supporters in the stands also singing and supporting their players. Cross to the near post, the header and the goal for Mercantil. The goal is scored by Marcos Ibáñez. They were enjoying their best moments of the game. A great set piece prepared and taken there by Gerard Torres with one first header in the near post. And then uh, Ibáñez, who was in the far post. Here we have the replay again. Great, great header from Miguel Exposito. Trying to find Ibáñez in the far post. Brilliant corner taken by Mercantil. That now are preparing changes. Same as Barca. Mamadi Diallo coming on. And Manuel Vila. And now he's uh, coming on for Barca, replacing Cristobal. So one change per side now in this second half, uh, plus the one that Mercantil did at halftime. And let's see the refreshment there for Mercantil with Mamadi acting as a number. Alexis, 2-1 up for Barca now. The difference and the distance is the minimum one. Just one goal. Nico controlling that one, finding Alexis Kubarsi. And again, the combination between Covarcia and Alexis. Jan mistake now. Mercantil with another opportunity in the edge of the box. Let's see one drilling, two drillings, almost three drillings. And Covarcia in the end finding a brilliant tackle. Careful, careful, careful with Mercantil. They continue. Attacking and creating uh, problems to Dibla Uranas. Uh, Michael turning, finding a cross to the far post. Careful with uh, Mamadi. The bounce and the ball saved by Diego. Coach, uh, careful, yes, with Mamadi, of course. Uh, a big striker it can be really dangerous in these kind of actions. Mercantil are the only unbeaten team of the whole championship and that's of course 
because they are a really solid team and today they want to at least take a point from uh, the Ciudad Esportiva Juan Gamper. Passa still in a good situation, of course, with 2 1 up, but the pieces of team are finding uh, now good options and good minutes of football. The combination now between the Blau Ranas. Careful here. Wow, double tackle. And now, yeah, the yellow card for Michael. And yeah, the players and in Bassa's bench want a red card. What a tackle there on Manuel Vila. What a tackle. Captain Nico Calderón trying to uh, discuss with the referee. But what a tackle, double tackle there between the two players. Michael now apologizing to Manuel Vila. Nico tries to combine with Calderón. And Di Blaurana has lost this position. Careful now with Mercantil again. Again, Pau Cubarsi with a fantastic tackle. This is going to be a corner kick. A corner kick. The frustration now from Pass of players. We have the replay again. Let's see the cross. Headed away by the Lauranas. Michael in the rebound. The ball goes uh, over the top and over the fence. Actually, goes out of the Ciudad Sportiva. And the goal kick for <coughs> Diego Cochen. Cochen. Well, it's going to be booked. Incredible the decision from the referee. Now, the yellow card for Diego Cochen when he was trying to play uh, from uh, his position when the American Tigo keeper has been wasting many time in the first half when they were uh, nil nil. Let's see, because game is entering in a kind of tension situation that I don't know if this benefits pass at all. Uh, I don't think so. So let's see if the team and the players can be focused again just on the action. Mercantil continues dominating in this second half, creating the opportunities, and Bassa are still suffering a lot. Manuela trying to find Caldero. Mercantil have recovered that one, but this is a fantastic defense by the Blauranas. Pau Prim, great job. And winning a throw in now. Nico playing a long throw win. Cleared away now by Passa. And the throw in now for Mercantil. Let's see. A foul in favor for FC Barcelona now. Oh, 
Yeah, again, more tension here. And the yellow card for Mercantil. Twenty minutes to go. The tensions there between um, the both benches. Let's see, Pasa can control a little bit now. Get long possessions like they did in most of the game. And Alexis finding Paco Barsi. Kovarsi back to Diego Cochen. Good ball there to Pau Prim. Pau finding Manu Vila. Let's see Manu finds the support of Caldero in the left. Kevin Bossa, Caldero, Manu Vila. In the final third, Manu Vila trying to combine with Simon. Simon, great touch to Alba. Ball now up in the air. The header from Pau Prim cannot control it well. Mercantil with a long ball. There are three Barca defenders. And it's Nico the one who saves that ball. Oof. Hard tackle there between Diallo and Nico throwing for Barca. Barca player is down. And here, yeah, we have the tackle from Mamadi Diallo. Substitution now for Barca, let's see. Two changes. Hector Fort, a player that is in the U19A dynamic today, supporting also the B team. Of course, he's officially a B team player, but as we explained, yeah, he's in the U19A dynamic. Fourth coming on, as well as Xavi Moreno. More enough changes for Barca. And now, yeah, Moreno here in the substitution. And throwing now for the Blaulanas is Nico. The one who will play long. The handball from Mercantil. Nico. Careful with that pass there to Simon. Well controlled and playing back now to Diego Cochen. Diego in the combination with Hector Ford, who has uh, replaced Alexis Olmedo. Paco Barsi picking up Ford. Nico, long ball, trying to find Caldero. Let's see, Michael protecting that one and clearing it to his uh, right. Throwing for Barca, 15 minutes remaining. Two, one up for Di Blauranas, uh, Neil Caldero and Cristobal Muñoz. Two scores for Barca, Marcos Ibáñez, the one who has got after a set piece with a header in the far post for Mercantil in this second half. Nico taking now his time, trying to find an option. Playing now the throw in, good control from Manu Vila. Vila switching the ball to the right. Jan Coulomé. Xavi Moreno. Not dispossessed, uh, dispossessed in the end with no foul. Lauranas winning back the ball. Good efforts and Pau Cubarsi. 
finding now Hector Fort. Good job there from Fort. Winning some meters, striving forward, finding the support of Nico. Entering the final part of the game, Barca needs to have and enjoy long possessions. And of course, the team will start to manage well these final minutes. As Mercantil are a really, really tough side, and they are showing it today once again. Still unbeaten, the Bisito team. Barca wants to end with the fantastic run of form in the competition. And the Blanas wants to end this uh, week 10 in second spot of the standings. Not ball. And the offside now. Hector Fort ready to take this free kick. Fort. Cubo Barça. Jan Colobé. Problems there for Barça. That's a clear foul. Arriving really late here. Mamadi Diallo. Referee now having a word with another player. With Marc Aguilar. Barça player. Uh, recovered. And now playing FC Barcelona, uh, starting with uh, his goalkeeper, Diego Cotten. Picking up. Fort. 12 minutes to go. Everything still is open. Passa. And now, he make until half throwing for the home sides. This weekend, Barca will face Gaba. A team that uh, are sixth, also in mid-table. Five teams compressed in, in three points. Between Barca now and virtually in life are in second spot, 19 points. Espanyol, 16.7. The leaders are Cornellà with 21. And the difference between the leaders Cornellà and Martin Eng, that are 12, are just 10 points. So it's incredible how equal this uh, U19 B League uh, is. I mean, really tight league and really beautiful, uh, the one that we are enjoying. This season, what a run now from uh, Kubarsi, who has been uh, dispossessed in the end. Mercantil will receive Nastic Manresa at home. Also a team that is in third spot, so important splashes. The ones that both teams they have on the weekend, but before they still need to close this match. And Barca needs the three points, same as Mercantil, although they are in a uh, tougher situation because they are 2-1 down, but of course right now Mercantil fighting for the draw, Barca trying to score the final goal, the third one at least, and uh, yeah, confirm this victory, but 10 minutes remaining plus a stop at time, there's still a long time to go, Barca still needs to work a lot to take the three points today from this pitch number seven of this Sportiva Juan Gamper, while Two more players are prepared in the sideline for Barca. Are going to be the last changes for uh, the team managed by Cuba, Ivan Cuadrado Alonso. Also, Cristian Villar ready for Mercantil. Let's see in here. Manu Villa winning that ball. Simon, well, there was a foul. The referee hasn't called. And now the action continues for Mercantil. Clearing that one because Michael seems to be 
suffering a lot in well let's see because ball was kind of uncontrolled but Basa seemed to clear it uh, right now to uh, leave Michael uh, to receive medical attendance well we'll have to see how ends this situation but apparently Basa will have possession two more changes prepared for the Blauranas Wesley and Mark uh, Guiu Mark Guiu another of the players who is in the U19A dynamic. Michael cannot continue. He's going to be replaced. And now we see uh, Wesley replacing uh, Jean Coulomé in the right back. And Margui coming on. For number nine, Ualba. Good job from both uh, Jan and Hugo in this match. Well, eight minutes uh, remaining. Mercantil giving the ball back to Barca. And pressing high up front. Nico. Diego Concha. Fort opening again uh, to the left for Nico with space. He can continue running now. Combination with Xavi Moreno has switched places now again with uh, Neil Calero. Basa now taking their time to play the ball. We're in the 82nd minute, almost 83rd. Control. Now for Mercantil. Silva and Nico clears that one. Michael suffering there in the sideline. After that tackle, we wish him, uh, of course, the best. Let's see. Vilar with Mamadi. Mamadi playing back to Aguilar. Well defended here by Mark Guiu. And now, chance for the counter attack. Manu dispossessed. Moreno. Problems now for Nico, who has to clear that ball. Throw in. For Mercantil. Alba Silva, ready to take it. Silva in the combination. The cross goes directly out. Golki for Barca. Diego playing quickly now. After he has been booked uh, minutes ago. Uh, not wasting time. He was doubting what to do if play a long ball or a short one. Has been uh, there. Really strict, the referee. With that decision. Careful, Pau Prim. With the high pressure now from Mercantil. Pressing with everything now, of course, in this last Five minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Week 10, U19, MP League. Passa with this result will stand in second spot, just two points below Cornella. They need absolutely the win to move up the table from seventh to second. Pau Prim. Five minutes remaining. Simon. Now we have entered in these last five minutes plus a stoppage time. Basically substitutions and all well, this last injury of Michael, but uh, has been replaced quickly. So uh, not more than three or four minutes should be added. There's no foul now on uh, Manuel Villa, although pass uh, staff are complaining. The cross to the far post. Careful here now. Yes, there is a foul in attack. 
that uh, makes uh, now a happy supporters and uh, people from uh, Mercantil. Of course, that's always uh, the difficult task for the referee. You always have uh, one team in favor, one against. Well, the Orkotchen will have to play a long ball now. And not allowing that ball to bounce here, the defender from Mercantil, careful here. Kubarsi with uh, Diego finding Simon. Let's see, Simon. Not sure what he was trying to do from there. Ball has been deflected. This is a throw in now for FC Barcelona. Really close to achieve their objective. Another foul. These interruptions now, uh, yes, uh, benefits the Belgoranas, absolutely. Wesley has received now this foul. And Simon will play long. The touch. And possession now for Mercantil. Long ball, careful here. Ooh, punching that ball. And the referee has whistled a foul or a penalty, really? Penalty and the red card. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Let's see if he shows the second yellow card to the Okoche. But the referee has whistled a penalty. That's for sure. And well, Mercantile player is going to need uh, medical assistance. And at least he's going to stay on the field, it seems. But incredible. Incredible that the referee has whistled. A penalty here. This is unbelievable. I mean, goalkeeper is in the box, clearing a ball. <laughs> then there is a contact, yes, but uh, the main objective here from Diego Cotten is to clear this ball, and he's in his box, so he has the right to use uh, his hands, jump, and clear that one. Well, difficult to understand this decision now from the referee. This is going to allow Mercantil the chance to equalize the match from the penalty spot. Passer players are frustrated. And uh, now the doctor is the one who says to show the second yellow card to the goalkeeper. Like enough, I think, Mercantil to have received a penalty. And they even won more. Well. Marc Aguilar is going to be the player taking this penalty for Mercantil. Discussion there between the uh, players. Diego Cotten between the sticks is going to try to save this penalty. But tough situation now for Barca. Tough situation for Barca in this penalty now in favor for Mercantil. Marc Aguilar and the goal is scored by Mercantil. Massive celebration there for Mercantil uh, with a controversial action and a really doubtful penalty. Well, this uh, stoppage time now, of course, has uh, is going to be extended after all what happens now. Aguilar, who took the penalty to the middle. Goalkeeper Cotting went to the right. And what a penalty that has been whistled here at the Ciudad Esportiva Joan Gamper. Well, all square 2 2 now. And it's Real Mercantil in this second half. Uh, they've played uh, a good second half. Uh, and they were. Pressing, uh, going for the goals. Passa has lost the control. Passa, at the same time, has not been able to create uh, many, many opportunities. But now, the team has this stoppage time to react and try and score the third goal. Let's see what happens. Last substitution there for Mercantil with Carlos Serrano coming on. The team still has time to react. From 2 0 up to the 2 2 draw. All square, and we are in the stoppage time. 
we assume that four or five minutes have been added. At least we will arrive till the 94th, 95th minute for sure. And who knows if a little bit more after all the interruption now with the penalty. Four, four minutes have been added now, confirmed uh, in the sideline uh, from uh, Barca's delegate. Let's go for it. First attempt for Barca in this is stoppage time. Neil Caldero driving forward. Caldero, one dribble, two dribbles, finding Manu. Manu in the edge of the box. Let's see this one for Caldero. What a chance for Barca. What a chance for Barca, the first one uh, in this stoppage time. Incredible. Caldero with uh, Manu, the rebound that was in favor, but then Caldero hasn't been able to finish well from there. What a chance for Barca. Let's see if uh, a better one can arrive, but this has been a fantastic one to try and win the match. Well, Kovarsi now coming and clearing this ball. A foul now of Marc Aguilar. Of course, now Mercantil wasting time. Football is like this. When you are happy with the result, you waste time. When you're not, you run. Let's see. Pau Prim playing quickly and finding Fort. Kubarsi, decisive clash between Mercantil that uh, can still unbeaten if they defend this 2-2 two -two draw. Incredible how things have changed in these last minutes. We knew it was going to be tough eh? and we said it uh, during the whole match uh, when Barca was 2-0 and of course when Barca was 2-1. That was uh, a worse situation. Now the good news is that Mercantil had made, made this step uh, in defense, uh, defending now all the players in their final third. This is how things went well for Barca. And it's kind of typical when a team wants to defend the result to go down, but things have worked well for Mercantil when they have been brave and attacked in this second half. They are going to try to manage uh, these final minutes like this. Barca with calm, with patience need to win meters like they are doing and find a final opportunity. Let's see from here. Xavi Moreno with his left, finding across Moreno, cleared away by Mercantil. Ball back again for Moreno, who finds the support of Nico. Nico cutting, Nico fighting a really good cross to the far post. Cleared away. Let's see the header from uh, Mark Guiu. And the goal kick now for Mercantil. One minute remaining. He will have the opportunity. Barca having the chances in this stop at time, unfortunately, probably can be too late. This sport is so beautiful because when you think that uh, you've done the job, then your rival can uh, react and come back like Mercantil uh, did. Although we have to say with a really controversial action eh, in that penalty, whistled against uh, Diego uh, Cochen. Simon, Barca can have the last one. Let's uh, run and go quickly. Pau Cubarsi, great ball to Pau Prim. Let's see the opportunity for Barca in here. Marguiu goes down. This is going to be the last chance for Barca with this free kick. Final opportunity for the Lauranas. From this set piece that is in a perfect place. And let's see if Barca can find a good left-footed player to take this free kick. Like uh, let's see which player is gonna try it. Seems to be Nico, the one who's gonna try it. Passes left back. Let's see. Simon also going there to the ball. And this should, well, they have to try a direct free kick for sure. Four plays in the wall for Mercantil is the final action for Barca. Referee uh, warning and having a word with uh, yeah, the players uh, in there. Nico Takahashi with the chance from this set piece and free kick is the last one for FC Barcelona. Let's see the opportunity. The wall jumping. The referee advising again. Let's go. The referee can. It's not able to manage well this uh, situation. It's unbelievable. More than one minute to try and chat with uh, that players to advise them. Well, 
show yellow cards instead of advise these players so many times. Let's see the final opportunity for Barca. Nico, go. ball goes over the top. And the final whistle, 2-2 draw between Barca and Mercantil. In the end, Di Valor has uh, dropped two points in the final minutes with a really controversial penalty. The team that will uh, stay in uh, their position, uh, sixth position, uh, and Mercantil will also uh, stay third as they were. Thank you very much for your attention. The final result at the Sportivo Jean Gamper, Barça 2, Mercantil 2.